Hey guys, it is your girl Jasmine and I'm back with another video. So I know I skipped two Fridays, but I've been so busy, but I'm here now. I know I don't have a backdrop, just my TV, my blinds and my lights, but no worries. So this video is gonna be a really cool video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn your disgusting old Apple Watch bands into a scrunchy Apple Watch band. So, this is what it looks like on. So basically, I find the scrunchy bands a lot more comfortable than just like your regular weird bands, cause um, I don't know, I just don't like them. So I thought I would make a scrunchy band um, this wasn't actually my first one. This is the second one I made. My first one I kind of messed up. But, you know what? I'm just going to stop talking. We're going to go ahead and get into the scrunchy Apple Watch bin making. So, next slide will be what you guys need for materials. Okay. So, what you guys will need for materials will be your scrunchies. I have a few over here. Um, I was going to make it out of this one, but I decided to just go ahead and make it out of this scrunchie because it's dark and it could almost go with any color. Next thing you guys will need are your scissors, you need your watch, of course, these watch clips, a blade, or an X-Acto knife, some thread and needle. So to get started, we're going to find the crease of the hair tie. So it's right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut that crease, but make sure you going you take one needle and you're gonna stretch it out, find the crease. So it's right here. You're going to make sure that the hair tie inside is in the middle, and you're going to put a needle right through the hair tie in it. So just like that. And get it right through. And you're gonna do that same thing for the other side. Make sure it's in the middle and poke it right through it. And now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut right down the middle of this crease right here. So that way, since we pinned the hair tie, the scrunchie still stays intact. You take your thread and your needle, which is in here, there's already some extra on there from last time. You're gonna put this aside for now and you're going to take your thread and needle and you're going to put some of it in the needle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Now I'm back with my thread and needle right in here. So I'm gonna put this aside. So now you're going to grab your hair tie again. So this is where you take the clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and you're going to take the metal side, the side that has this piece of metal right there, make sure it's facing you while you're sewing. So you're going to try to fit all of this through the hole like this. I hope it's enough light for you guys. So I know this is in the way, but that's all right. So you're going to make sure you have it all through the hole. And then once you see the scrunchie, hold it, take this out pull all the rest of it through and put the, the needle right back into the scrunchie so it doesn't go away. So just like that. All right, good. Hold the hair tie on the other side, fold it down like this and pin it again. Now, this is where your thread and needle comes into play. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your thread and needle and you're going to start sewing it around. So you're gonna put it in through here and come out and go around so you're closing off the sides. So like this. So you're gonna put it in, in, pull it all the way through 
and then come around again. And you're going to go around to close off the end like that. And now you're going to continue to sew. It's going to be a little difficult, but you're going to continue to sew just like this. And then you're going to go back. I keep dropping the needle. You're going to go back on this side and sew it. Make sure it's even. Just like that, and you keep going. Once you get to the hair tie part, then you can take the needle out. Once you get to the hair tie part, you can take this needle out. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you guys And then once you get to this end, you're going to do it around just like you did the first one. Just to seal it off. And you go back around. And you go back through just to fill in the gaps on this side, just to make it look nice. Then you're going to tie the end. You're gonna take your shears and you're gonna cut it. Then you're also gonna cut this. And then this piece right here, you have a couple options. You can cut it down or you could also burn it, but that's up to you. This material can burn easy. So you could burn it to seal it, but again, that is completely up to you. I'm just gonna cut it for the video. So there you go. So there's that end pretty and I'm gonna go ahead and do this end off camera and I'll be right back with you guys okay now that your scrunchie is done you're going to take the scrunchie and the metal pieces right here are going to face this way so you're going to put it back in your watch just like that take the other piece so it goes like this just like that. And you're gonna put it on your wrist. Make sure it feels comfortable. And there you go. An Apple Watch scrunchie. Perfect for sports or any of your needs. Okay, so that is it. That is how you make an Apple Watch scrunchie band. It's very comfortable. It's better than wearing this. I promise you that. Um, yeah, and it fits perfectly on my wrist and it looks really cool. I'm also sorry for the late videos and I will promise that I will keep on uploading consistently. I've just been so busy with everything and it's hard to keep up with the videos and think of video ideas, but I promise you I will stay on track. But if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in my next video on Friday. If you have any comments or questions, please follow me on my social medias. They'll be linked down below. 
Also, where to get the clips for the Apple Watch will also be linked down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Labor Day and yeah.